I'm just winging it. Hi, I'm Paul Brody. We're back in my shop, like last time. I'm on this side of the camera. There's a man behind the camera. His name is Mitch. I think you've heard of him before. Today we're back on the Tiger Cub. We sort of veered off to Aramac and Excel here, but we're back on the Cub. We're going to be welding up an exhaust fin here. This has four broken fins. To be honest, the part of me wanted to practice prior to making the video, but I resisted that urge so that you get to see what happens. Now, have I welded fins before? Yes. I found this. What, what happens on the fins is you put a piece of copper down there. You see how it's wedge shaped because a fin is wedge shape. It has to be because it's a casting. You need a draft angle of two degrees because otherwise you can't get it out of the mold. So I know I did this before because I found this and I'm thinking, you know, what, what did I do way back when? And I think it was a English cylinder head. Uh, that's all I can remember. It was that long ago. So you can see how like this is this one's so large that it must have been a much larger head with larger fins and it looks like okay so when you weld it it starts out like that that's the copper because the aluminum isn't going to stick to the copper you can see where I've put this in and I've welded back to about here and then something else happened here I because I've I've made a radius and it looks like I've also done some welding here. So that's all I can remember and that how long ago that was? Maybe 15, 20 years? I don't know. I have a toaster oven. I wanted to put this into the toaster oven to make it nice and warm for the welding. Do you think I can find my toaster oven? It's hiding on me. I must have looked for over an hour. I don't know. So I'm going to have to heat it up with oxyacetylene. That was not my plan, but the toaster oven is missing. I looked around here and what I might have to do is to add a couple shims under here to, to make this up to the right height. This. See, I got these two shims. Each one is about 18, 20 thou. So when I put those together, it raises this up just a little bit. You see that? Now, no, maybe I just need one shim, but over on the other side, I know I need some shims because, because the head, this head has inconsistencies in the fins. So you make it so that it fits how you want it to. Can you see that, how that's gonna go like that? See, look, I got a little bit of a gap. Looks like I got a little bit of a gap right there, but I know I'm going to do some filing anyway, so. All right, so we'll get the TIG welder set up. I don't have any mail to open today. Sorry about that. Still waiting for fork seals for the cub, but we'll just keep moving on. So I'll get my, my big torch out. We'll heat it up and we'll go to the TIG. I've got my big torch. I bought this when I was 17. It's a number four tip I've got on there. Pretty big. I've got my really good gloves on. Uh. 
I want you to see what happened. I was welding and I couldn't stop the arc. Look what happened. I got the wire under the pedal so it won't switch off. There, now it switches off. So I'm going, what the heck is going on with my pedal? Because it was just, it was welding on its own and then I had to pull it away, which is, which is bad technique. If you're wondering about the amperage I'm using, I got my welder set at 45 amps. And it, that seems to be working pretty good. So we'll just continue here. We're good. I did not dab the tungsten once. I'm quite a little bit proud of that. So you can see how the copper goes black and the aluminum will not stick to the copper at all. Oh, oh look at that. That came out pretty easy. So there's the, you can see all the welding going across there. It can get used again, that's no problem. That seemed to work pretty well. And it looks like it's raised up a bit. Can you see how it's raised up? No, it's raised up that way. I think what we'll do is to heat it up and we'll we'll use the oxyacetylene torch and then we'll we'll bend it down. I'm just wing it, well, a little bit. I don't have to heat up the whole head again. I just, I'm just heating up the fin because I just want the fin to bend. that see it bend that looks good to me good what I need to do now do you see this hole do you see how this hole isn't round it's not a round hole so I need to set it up in the mill do you see what I made here I took some cold roll half inch cold roll and I I machined it so it just fits in there what I'm going to do now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to clamp down this, this piece of aluminum, it's half inch. I'm going to use an end mill and make a half inch hole through here. This is half inch, so this is going to go into the hole. It's going to locate the center of the hole. And then in the top, I've got a, a boring mill set up. And I can bore that and then I'll take an end mill and I'll do a little bit of facing here. Then I'll do some filing and then basically the fin repair is done. So there's a couple steps we have to go through here. So we've got the head, head located on the dowel pin and we're holding on, on both sides of the head. Don't want to do it too tight, it's just the casting, but do you need a little bit of pressure there? Okay, we'll try that. That worked out nicely in the metal cut quite well. 
in case I didn't mention it, the welding rod that I used is a 5356. I asked a couple friends, one suggested 5356 and someone else suggested 4043 or 4047. That's a softer rod, but I've had good success with 5053, so I thought I'd try it. So, seemed to work okay. Okay, let's do some filing. Mitch, it's getting warm in here again. That's what always happens with the filing. How thick is a fin? 106, 105, 95, 132. So, okay, I might have to shut away. What I need to do is to is to round the fin a bit because it doesn't it doesn't come square like that. This makes it look more authentic. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm smoothing out the top. This is one of the last steps is to get the file marks out. Oh, I got one little low spot there, but whatever. Can you see right there? I've got one little low spot there. I'm not going to go and fix that. That's too much work. Most people would probably never notice that. I notice things like that. But the rest of the fin looks good. So I'm happy with that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for buying us coffee. Coffee really keeps us going at this channel. And we'll see you next week. Thanks. Take care.